Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my night skincare routine. Um, I know a lot of us are staying home right now and we are focusing on our skincare products. So I wanted to show you guys the products that I use because lately my skin has been so much better. Um, I still have like a couple of breakouts right here on my chin, um, but that's like hormonal and stuff you know everyone gets this like pimples when they're about to start their period or whatever um but yeah lately my skin has been looking so much better and it's all because of the skincare products that i've been using right now i think i have like a really good mix on the products um i think i know what works for me what doesn't and today i just want to show you guys the skincare products that i use so if you're interested then just continue watching so to start off my face i usually cleanse my face with this african black bar soap um i'm not going to take like the bar soap out of my shower but um, i'll insert a picture of it and basically um, i wash my face with the bar soap and then i use one of those like little silicone um like little thingies i'll probably insert a picture of it too and then i just like scrub my face with it and i'm telling you that african bar soap works really really good especially for acne um so if you're looking for something that's like super easy and you can just keep in the shower and then you can just like you know use a silicone and then just scrub your face that's like super perfect to use so that's the first step that i do i like to do that in the shower when my when I take like super hot hot showers so my pores will be open and then I just like scrub it while I'm in the shower. Next I use this fresh rose toner and I apply it with I apply it on my face and I just use my fingers. Um it says that you're supposed to gently sweep over the face and neck with a cotton pad or fingertips. So yeah I just rub this in. And I love that it smells like fresh roses. It's just like so perfect. So I love this because it softens the skin. And it removes, when you do it with the cotton pad, it removes all the extra dirt that you have on your face. But I usually just, you know, use my fingertips. And then just pat it in. Another toner that I love to use is this Mirad essential toner um essential c toner which has vitamin c and it's just like a mist that you can just like you know put on your face um i guess i'll put it on again but this one is a little bit easier because you can just like mist it on your face but basically it has antioxidants and it energizes your skin and it gives you a more hydrating complexion and glowing complexion too so um, it's perfect if you need like some more vitamin c and yeah it feels just so refreshing especially after like the shower when you take a hot shower and your pores are open and then you like put this mist and it just feels like so cooling to the skin so step three that I use is a serum. So I use a lot of serums actually. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start. So the first serum that I would say is very affordable is I would say the Sephora serum. So I really, really love this serum. It has a vitamin C and E and it's a very, very ultra glow serum so if you want your face to look more glowy then this is a serum for you um and you can use it am or pm um i usually in the morning i usually just put moisturizer on my face because i'm so lazy so but at night i actually take the time to do my skincare routine because i'm going to go to sleep with it on and then in the next morning i wake up and my skin just looks 
super glowy. So yeah, this is more like affordable serum that I have. And this is the Sephora collection. The Sephora collection is really, really good. I recommend it. I think like it's a dupe for um, Junk Elephant too. So yeah, it's very affordable and I love it. And the next serum that I use that I absolutely love and I'm almost running out. And I actually got this serum at Marshall's. And it is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. So I just put a few drops on my skin. It has essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. So this is a night serum that you put on your face. It's supposed to like give you like this recovery like in the morning. You go to sleep. And then you just wake up flawless. Don't forget to put some on your double chin. So yeah, I really love, love, love this one. So the next serum that I sometimes use is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Serum as well. And for this one, I bought the little... Um, I bought the little like travel size because it is really expensive. Um, I think the travel size is already like 20 something dollars and the big 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 one is like way more so yeah. Um, this one I use but yeah because it's expensive I don't really use that much. Also this one is a little too pricey as well but I found it at Marshalls. That's why I got it. Um, so yeah, this is a repair serum as well, and it's proven to significantly reduce major signs of visible aging. So it's like an aging serum that you can put on your face, and I love to use this when I'm having like one of those bougie moments when I do my facials and drink a glass of wine and then just watch a movie or something, you know? So the next serum that I want to show you guys is a drugstore serum. So basically it is from the L'Oreal Paris and I got this in the mail not too long ago by Influencer and this was really really good. I love this serum. I'm actually going to use this one too right now. Okay so it comes in like these containers right here and basically what you do is you kind of like flick it it is a concentrated serum that gives you hydrating skin and it enhances the skin own moisture retention for lasting hydration and it makes after one of these, which this is why I continued using them, and I'm not lying, even though I got this product for free, I noticed that my skin was smoother, fresher, um, hydrated, and it was softer and more comfortable. So, yeah. After one application, I noticed that my skin got so much clearer, and it smells really good. I'm just gonna mess up my videos. I also put this on my lips sometimes. And I love that basically you're only supposed to use half of this. And then the other half you use it in the morning time. But I love that it has this thing right here on top. That basically you can just like put it back in. And then it like covers it. So that it doesn't dry out. That's so smart. Alright. So, next on my skincare is um, eye serums or moisturizers. And I also got this moisturizer with the influencer packet. So, this one kind of goes hand in hand with um, the serum. And I think it smells really, really good, but some people don't. Literally smells like perfume to me, but some people just like hate the smell. I don't know why, but.
Yeah, so this is basically the moisturizer that you put on after the serum. And it's supposed to hydrate and moisturize your skin as well. And yeah, you just put it on your face and your neck. I have a problem with my double chin right here. So I usually put moisturizers on here so that I can firm up my double chin. But yeah, so you can use this. You can layer it under your makeup as well. But I have noticed that if your skin is dry, it causes your skin to be a little bit flaky. It kind of like pulls off your skin when your skin is dry. Like if you, once it dries and then you kind of like rub it on your skin, you can see like, you can see the dead skin that just like falls from your skin, you know? Or like it's, it's flaky sometimes. So that's the part that I really like didn't like about this. But other than that, I think I left my skin really, really, really nice and I can get past that flakiness stuff. Another moisturizer that I use is this Ultra Facial Cream by Kiehl's. And it is a 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for a healthy looking skin. Um, so this is very popular because I know some people use this as a moisturizer before they apply their makeup. And I think it works really good. I'm one of those people that uses before you apply your makeup because it's just so lightweight and then it gives you like this really great moisture. It just locks everything right in and that's what I like about it. And it also makes your foundation look really flawless after you, when you put it on. So yeah, I'm almost actually done with this. Like, like I literally have nothing left. And even my husband uses this. He uses my skincare stuff because he wants to look young too. He's looking at me like, oh, why are you telling people? But he does. He's like, oh, can you put some stuff on my face so that I can look young too? So, the two alternatives that I use for a drug store, it's not really like a drug store, but it is very, very good. And you can find it at Sephora. So, it is a Sephora firming um sleeping cream and this is really really good i love this so basically if when i want to like mask my face like put a mask on but then not exactly like wash it off at the end of the night i usually put a really thick layer of this mask on and it works really good i love how firming this makes my skin look in the morning when i wake up so yeah, it is a firming sleeping cream. So this is specifically specifically for nighttime. Okay, so next is I'm gonna be going into eye cream. So this is a brightening eye cream and it is a dupe, I think, for the drug elephant because it looks exactly like it. Um, it is, you apply around a.m. and p.m. and it is a brightening eye cream that depuffs your eyes and it hydrates your eyes as well. I always suffered with dark circles. I've had dark circles my whole life and I've been trying to get rid of it. I think they're still dark, but they used to be darker before. But anyways... I love this eye cream. It's almost gone. So much I love it. I'm about to put some on right now. Always use index finger and then act like you're flipping someone off and pat. So, yeah, I love this Depot for Sephora cream. I think it works really, really good. Also, put some on here. It's so lightweight also and it feels like it doesn't drag under eyes down. Sometimes you there's some heavy ass creams out there that you feel like when you put it on your face is just like dragging. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I feel sometimes. Like I some really heavy creams and you're just like you can't even rub it because it's so damn heavy. This is really lightweight, like the formula is just like, 
Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. Oh, do you have the Corona? The formula is just butter. Like it just, it's freaking butter. Go to bed. You're doing my skincare routine. What? Doing my skincare routine. Okay, so the next eye cream oh, that I. Can't wake up in the morning. Shit, it's almost 12. Okay, so the next eye cream that I use, it is the Bubble. What is it? Bubble Wrap Eye Cream by Glossier. And this is actually a eye and lip pumping cream. So I'm going to put this on my lips. I love Glossier products as well. I think their products are so neat. They're so nice. I love the packaging too. And I just love all of Glossier products. If you haven't bought Glossier products, I have a like link down below. That gives you 10% off. So if you want to try their products and get 10% off, there's a link in the description box. Um, so yeah, so this is basically after cleansing. You will rub it in to your lips and onto the eyes. And basically... It's going to give you that plump effect. Can you tell? Sometimes my lips are really dry. So I use moisturizer so that I can like make them nice and soft for kissing. Cream. Last cream of the night is Ula, Hendricks Ula Hendrickson. I was have tried saying that five times. Ula Hendrickson, Ula Hendrickson, Ula Hendrickson. I can't. So, Ola Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Cream. Um, it has vitamin C. It's a gel cream. You put it under your eyes. It's going to give you that moisture again. It's going to give you that vitamin C that everyone wants. And it's going to make your eyes just look amazing. I'm not going to put it on right now because I feel like I put so much stuff on my face. But this is also another favorite Especially if you put it in the refrigerator for a little bit and then you take it out and put it on your under eyes. You just feel so fresh. So cool. It's like a cooling gel as well. But yeah. Okay. Last. Second to last. I'm almost done with this video. I swear. Is the aloe vera. This aloe vera gel. I use this on my body and on my face as well and you can make hand sanitizer with this it's the up and up one I'm cheap and it's from target and yeah you can use this on your face your body sometimes i use the aloe vera plant as well when i have like a pimple when i pop breakout and this i basically use this on my pimples because the next product that i'm about to show you dries the shit out of them but it works so i use this in the morning before i put my makeup on or just at night because as you can see I, have, I do have breakouts still but yeah so i use this aloe vera gel after i use this shit right here this is a mario badescu 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 drying lotion so i use this drying lotion as soon as i feel like i'm getting a pimple as soon as i get a pimple on my skin i use this drying lotion because it is a fast acting formula that helps dry up surface blemishes overnight and supposedly it has an award-winning or it's an iconic award-winning must-have. Um, yeah, this works really good. And I also tried the Kate Spade one. No, not Kate Spade, dumbass. Kate Somerville. I tried the Kate Somerville one. She has one too, and that one works really good. Um, but this one, I sell it at Ulta, and I think it's a little bit cheaper. But it still works really good. It's for all skin types. So basically, you just dab it on. You don't mix it. You just get a q-tip and then you like scrape the bottom of it and then put it on the pimple so yeah these used to be pimples 
another flat but basically pimples and then I think I picked on them and now they look like this but this dried them out so yeah this this is my skincare routine you don't have to do all of these steps every night but you should at least moisturize put a serum, serum on and an under eye cream or something or toner which I always forget to step but yeah this is my skincare routine video hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you've used any of these products before and how they work with your skin and also any recommendations that you may have on skincare products I would love to test them out even though these are basically my ride or die products that I've had for a while so I don't know but I have seen some pretty cool skincare products out there that I do want to try but after I finish all this but yeah this is my skincare routine hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up this video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye